Selecting the proper drainage pipe size for each fixture drain is extremely important. If a pipe is too small, it tends to clog. If the pipe is too large, other disadvantages become apparent, such as cost, installation difficulties, and an oversized pipe will not have the scouring action of the water if the flow is too shallow to carry solids along, causing stoppages. To ensure the proper sizes are used, there needed to be some logical method in place for sizing drain pipes. A laboratory was found to be able to discharge about seven and one half gallons of water per minute. This was so close to a cubic foot of water that it became the basis of the fixture unit measurement system. A fixture that can discharge about one cubic foot of water per minute has a load factor or drainage fixture unit of one. Based on fixture unit values of different fixtures, the minimum size of the building drains, branch drains, and the building sewer are determined. The smallest drain allowed is one and one quarter inch and is typically used for drains serving fixtures rated at one fixture unit. Drains must have proper slope to drain and not be a maintenance issue. A quarter inch per foot is considered standard and will provide good drainage but will not move liquids along so rapidly that solid waste is left behind to clog the drain. When structural features make it impractical to obtain one quarter inch per foot slope, the local building authority may consider reducing the slope to one eighth inch per foot. For proper sizing in your state, city, or county, you will need to check with the local authority having jurisdiction for the proper codes to follow. For the following sizing examples, we will be using the 2006 Uniform Plumbing Code. All horizontal pipes are sloped at a quarter inch per foot. The terms building sewer and building drain are used interchangeably but are quite different. The building drain is the waste piping inside the building to a point two feet outside the building. The building sewer begins at a point two feet outside the building and continues out to the street. Drain sizing is accomplished by determining the fixture unit to be drained for each fixture by using the drainage fixture unit values, table 7-3. You will need to know if the project you are sizing is a private residence, a public building, or a building used for assembly so that you can use the proper column in table 7-3 to get the fixture unit values. After determining the building type, you will need to know the specific type of individual fixtures and the required fixture units from the correct building type column. Then total the fixtures that will be served by each section of the building drain. Now refer to the maximum loading of drainage piping and maximum length of drainage and vent piping, table 7-5, and under maximum units for both vertical and horizontal, Move to the right to find a fixture unit number that will handle or include the total fixture units that the drain will serve, and above that number, it will indicate the minimum size of drain pipe required. To become familiar with the sizing procedure, let's determine the horizontal and vertical drain pipe sizes for this drainage system. Let's start with one lavatory. Refer to the drainage fixture unit values, table 7-3, and find a single lavatory in a private individual dwelling has a value of one fixture unit. Now go to the maximum loading of drainage piping, table 7-5. Maximum units vertical and horizontal. One fixture unit can be adequately drained by using a one and one quarter inch drain pipe. Both the vertical and the horizontal pipes can be one and one quarter inch in diameter. If we add another laboratory, we add another fixture unit. Refer to table 7-3. Laboratories in sets of two or three is two fixture units. Refer to table 7-5. Maximum units vertical. Note that one and one quarter inch pipe will handle only one fixture unit so go to the next higher pipe size and note the small number two for footnote number two at the bottom of the table. It reads, except sinks, urinals, and dishwashers. The laboratory is not included in this exception, so the one and one half inch drain will carry the fixture unit load. Under maximum units horizontal, 
two fixture units fits under eight fixture units, which will require a two-inch drain. Note the small number three for footnote number three at the bottom of the table. It reads, except six-unit traps or water closets, which in this case will not apply. This section of the building drain is one and one-half inch for the vertical and two inches for the horizontal drain. Let's add an additional bathroom with double lavatories, which increases the fixture unit load to four for the horizontal drain. Refer to table 7-5, then under maximum units vertical, two fixture units fits under two fixture units, which will require a one and one-half inch vertical drain. And under maximum units horizontal, four fixture units fits under eight fixture units, which will require a two-inch drain. Note the small number three for the footnote number three at the bottom of the table. It reads, except six-unit traps or water closets, which is, in this case will not apply. This section of the building drain is one and one-half inch for the vertical section and continues with two inches for the horizontal drain. If we add two water closets, refer to table 7-3, locate water closet 1.6 gallon per flush gravity tank, and see they are rated at three fixture units each. Adding these additional fixture units to the existing fixture units, we have a total of 10 fixture units needing to be drained through this section of pipe. Refer to table 7-5 maximum units horizontal and look for a size that can drain 10 fixture units. 14 fixture units will handle this, but notice the small number 3 besides the 14 for footnote number 3 which reads except 6 unit traps or water closets. This exception tells us that the water closets cannot be drained through this size pipe. We must go over to the next column. 35 fixture units Notice that it has a small number four for footnote number four, which reads, only four water closets or six unit traps allowed on any vertical pipe or stack and not to exceed three water closets. Since we have only two water closets, we can use a three inch pipe. This horizontal section of the building drain is sized up to three inch pipe. Let's add two combination bath and shower fixtures to the system. Refer to table 7-3, locate bathtub and combination bath and shower, and note that each fixture will add two fixture units. Adding these to the existing fixture units, we have a total of 14 fixture units. Refer to table 7-5, maximum units horizontal, we see that 14 fixture units needs a two and one half inch pipe, except for footnote three requires moving up to 35 fixture units requiring a three inch pipe and no footnotes apply. This section of the building drain continues as a three inch pipe. This completes the drain sizing example. Thank you for your time.